Putting God first can be difficult. What can we learn from Hannah that will help us put God first in our lives today? Hannah experienced an incredible miracle in her life. God answered her prayer and gave her a son. A few months earlier, she had entered the temple in Jerusalem and opened her heart to God, promising that if God gave her a son, she would dedicate him to his service. And so she did. She named her son Samuel, which means heard by God. We can imagine Hannah sitting with little Samuel and teaching him about God by telling and retelling him the old stories. Samuel was a miracle and she loved him with all her heart. But the time soon came when she had to take Samuel to the temple to serve the Lord as she had promised. It must have been difficult, even though God had given her many other children. Putting God first is often difficult, but here are Hannah's own words. My heart rejoices in the Lord. My horn is lifted high. My mouth boasts over my enemies, for I delight in your deliverance. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Hannah was not aware that Samuel would become one of the greatest prophets in the history of Israel. He was a man of God who anointed King Saul and even King David himself. None of this would have happened if his mother had refused to put God first. Parents, have you ever wondered what impact putting God first will have on your children? It is impossible to predict the kind of impact children will have on the world when they grow up witnessing their parents putting God first. Hannah put God first. Her example compels us to do the same. As the deacons collect the tithe and promise, we are challenged to put God first.